Hi, I'm Shannon Grissom, and this is not your mama's painting show. I'm just going to give you quick little tips to jumpstart your art and get you going. Why is it not your mama's painting show? Well, I got to tell you, I'm from a Scots Irish Italian background, and no matter what you're doing, it is all about the food. So, we're going to talk a little bit about painting, and at the end, we're going to end with a fabulous creative nacho recipe. How cool is that? I'll see you inside. Nacho Mamas, Nacho Daddies, it's Nacho Mamas Painting Show. Well, hello there. Today's episode focuses on a greener way to clean your brushes. Well, you're probably wondering why I've got so many brushes. Um, well, I kind of like them. That's, that's fun. I, you can never have too many tools. But the real reason is, is that I don't use anything toxic to clean my brushes. What I do is I dip each brush after it's, first I wipe it off, the excess, and then I dip it in vegetable oil, just regular old vegetable oil, and get the excess paint loosened up. I do that for each one. Just really swirl it around good. And then you wipe your brush off. Might as well do the other one while I'm here. Okay, so once you get that done, then you dip it in dish soap. So I swirl that around. And then after I'm through with that, I simply rinse it with warm water and let it dry flat. It's important to let them dry flat, otherwise the water will run into the ferrule. This is a ferrule. And loosen the brush hair. So make sure you dry your, your uh, dry your hairs. <laughs> dry your brushes flat. So um, anyway, that's how I clean my brushes and stay away from the toxic dudes. Today's nacho recipe is bare naked nachos. To get the recipe, please visit shannongrissom.com. Nacho mamas, nacho daddies, it's nacho mamas painting show.